Hello and welcome to your first Java tutorial. Today we will be learning how to install the JDK. Now what JDK stands for is Java Development Kit. Now we need this um, kit to start writing job code. It's very important that we have this. So to install this, go ahead and open up your internet browser. In my case, that would be Google Chrome. And go ahead on the your toolbar, go ahead and type in java.sun.com. And it should take you to this website. Now from here, go ahead and scroll down and click on under technologies on the on the right. Go ahead and go ahead and click on Java SE which stands for Java Standard Edition. Now here, from here, go ahead and click on your Downloads tab. Not the one on the top, but the one right below it. Right here. So go ahead and scroll down until you see Java SE 7 U2. Now this is the latest Java um, JDK. So go ahead and click on the JDK download button, not the JRE. The JRE download button is something completely different. We don't want that. So go ahead and click on the JDK download button. Um, when you have the window, a window is going to come up or a wizard is going to come up, and you're just going to be having to click next a few times. And I agree to some things. And I, I'm not going to do, demonstrate it to you right now because I already have it downloaded and just be silly to download it again. So once you have that, go ahead and exit out of here and go to start and type pin on your search programs bar CMD. Now, the window's going to pop up just like this. Now, this is what we call our Java compiler. Now a Java compiler is a computer program that converts all our future Java code into a language that the computer can understand. For some reason the computer doesn't understand English. So go ahead and type in Java C which stands for Java compiler and enter. Now something instantly must come up for you and None of this should come up. It shouldn't. So, what? Um, because I already have the Java compiler, so I have all this. So, but but what? The things that should come up for you are like two lines of two lines saying that something like there are no files here or something like that. And we're gonna fix that. So go ahead and exit out of here and go to your start. And go ahead, click on my computer. Now go to your main hard drive and go to program files. And now you should have a newly made Java folder. Go ahead and click on that. And now don't click on your JRE folder. Go ahead and click on your D JDK folder. Open that and go to your bin folder. I know there's a lot of clicking involved. Just bear with me. Now all of these icons should come up. Now go ahead and click right click. Right click the first one. And scroll down to properties. Now from here, this window will come up. And what we want to look at is the location. And in this location right here, we want to make sure there's a bin. A bin at the end. If the bin's not there, then something has gone wrong. The JDK was not downloaded properly, and you have to redo the tutorial. Now, if you do have the bin, go ahead and copy this location and exit out of all the stuff and go to start. And now, right click, right click my computer and scroll down to properties. Now, this window should come up. There we go. And under Control Panel Home, go down to Advanced System Settings. Click on that. 
may take a while for this window to come up. Almost there. I hope my computer's not freezing up. Ah, here it is, finally. So, you'll get this window, and on the bottom right, you'll see environment variables. Go ahead and click on that. And now, what you want to do is that you want to create a new variable. Go ahead and click on new, and as your variable name, type in path. P capital P T H, path. As your variable value, you want to type on uh, paste the uh, location that we just got. So go ahead and click on OK. I already have a variable like this, so it'd just be stupid to create a similar bit, a congruent variable to this one. So go, um, now go ahead, once you clicked OK, go ahead and check your variables um, and see if you have a new variable called path. So if you don't have it, um, just go ahead and click new and just do the same process. Now if you do have it, click OK. OK. And now you can go here, search programs and files, type in CMD. Now this should come up. And now if you type in Java C, all this crap should come up. Now what this crap means is that your Java compiler is now working. So, good job and join me next tutorial.